Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at how we can use NetN, a no code platform to build Gen AI applications. So nowadays people have been talking about multiple no code, low code solutions, starting with, you know, DeFi, Gumlo, Flowwise, Make.com, NetN, and so on and so forth, right? Now NetN has uh, has got a lot of, you know, hype lately. Uh, and of course, for all the good reasons, that how you can use NTN to build complex workflows. You know, a multi-agentic system that will that will be very easy to build because you do not have to write a lot of a lot of code, right? It's and of course, it really uh, high-level abstract classes that they have built it and of course created in TypeScript. Uh, it's all JSON in the in under the hood, but how you can build something like really quick if you want to validate something or if you want to you know work on some kind of use cases and if you are not sure if that's the use case you you should you know uh, keep working on it so you can quickly uh, create a workflow test it out and see if that's working. So if you look at here what I have done, okay, and, and I have an AI agent that I'm creating. It's a tools agent that has a chat model that has an uh, inbuilt memory. Uh, it's a buffer memory. Uh, you can also use Postgres, another database to use that as a memory. I'm gonna show that. And then we have tool. In tool, I'm using SERP API that will help me uh, search the internet. So here I'm trying to build a local web, web researcher or a deep research, whatever you call it, you know, in the open source space. Now, if I delete this, for example, see if I'm deleting all of it right here, okay. And I, I delete this. Now, this is my workflow name. If you look at here on top called my workflow. Now here I have nothing and how we can start building it, right? So if you click on this plus icon, it says open node nodes panel. And you can look at here, right? We have a lot of things and we're gonna come, come here and talk about it, but let's first add first step. Now in the first step, I'm gonna add here. Uh, first you add on chat message. Okay, so this is just fine on chat message. On chat message, because you're gonna pass a prompt, ask a query, or like do something on top of the research uh, workflow that we're gonna create. Now, when you want to add here, you know, we're gonna add our AI agent. So you can see here we have an AI agent. So let's just first click on that. Now, this AI agent has multiple things over here. You know, if you look at here, it has a, it's a tool agent. Uh, if you click on this, you can read more about it. They have conversational agent. If you want to build any conversational system, they have function agent by OpenAI, which does function callings and so on and so forth. But in nutshell, this is a good place to start with if you are working on some beginner level workflow, you know, on NTN. Now in the chat model, I'm gonna use uh, open source model. I'm not gonna use any you know, closed source models over here, right? I don't want to use any APIs and stuff. So I'm gonna use Olama chat model. So you can see Olama chat model. Now here is the trick. You might say that, okay, uh, how, how can I bring Olama thingy here? So I will talk about it. Uh, I'm running a Docker Compose file here. You can see it says, I have used Docker Compose up. And when you set, set it up for the first time, it will install everything for you. It will install Olama, it will install QDRAND, it will install uh, a lot of other open source thing that you can install it and you can just configure it over here. Very simple, you just have to do that. And once you do that, okay, uh, you can go to containers and you can see I have, uh, let's go to N10 and let's go to Olama here. Now in the Olama, let's go to terminal. Now here you can pull, you know, uh, all the models, like whatever models you want to pull. Like I'm not pulling it because I already have a couple of models. You can see I have Llama 3.2 and DeepSeek. Uh, DeepSeek is not a compatible model uh, with the uh, tools agent on NTN. So I'm gonna use Llama 3.2. You can see I have used Llama 3.2 as a chat model over here. Now, the next thing is memory. If you want to add memory, which is not, it is not mandatory, it's an optional field, but maybe I would love to have a memory, right? Where, we, where I can ask follow-up questions. So for the memory, you can see it has really scalable databases like Postgres and Redis, which you can use it to build 
uh, memories and you know if you use redis is also recommendable you can also go with postgres but i'm going to rely right now on windows buffer memory you know so that is fine and you can also say it if you click on here you can also set the context window let let's call it three i want to keep it a bit lower uh, on that number now on the tools excuse me uh on the on the tools i'm gonna use serp api because i want to build something you know uh credentials i already have a credentials so if you don't have a credentials you have to go and set up a credential right now serp api basically is by google that will help you you know search internet okay, you can see you can also do country explicitly you can define it but now if you look at here what i'm doing i have a chat message now what does chat message means when you click on open chat here you can ask questions so that input becomes a chat message and then that input goes to this ai agent a very simple agent that we have created that takes chat model an olama chat model takes the inbuilt memory the buffer memory and then you just a tool you can combine multiple tools over here if you want you can build custom tools as well okay, let me first cut this off now now imagine if you want to write a blog post so you can also use linkedin now, so if you click on linkedin it says create a post but i'm not doing it because i don't I, I think you have to go and configure on linkedin developer portal you know you have to get some client secrets client uh, tokens and then do it but you can also do that that will automatically create a linkedin post for you given a search query or if you want to search something or write on something like agi for example or whatever has happened between trump and Zelensky, for example right so you can do that now this is a simple workflow that you see uh, on n10 now i'm going to click on open chat and let's see if if it if that works create a report on development in agi in 2025 now imagine if i want to create a report on this right i can just use this workflow to kind of do that but here you know keep in mind guys we have a very uh a small model in comparison to other models that people kind of really like it like claude or you know uh, uh gpt models or gemini models and so on and so forth here we are using an open source model which might not be really really good uh compared to them so the output might be a little uh less in quality but the agenda here is to show you that how you can use nt and to kind of create workflows right meanwhile i'm gonna run this and go back to this now the question you might ask is that how can i set up n10 so uh, setting up n10 is very simple okay you go here uh on docs okay now n10 docs and i i'll give you that uh, you can see this is how you can create first you create a volume that's called n10 data so if i come here you can see i have a volume called n8n now in this volume okay i'll go back in this it but basically it's it's a persistent volume that persists on your disk and i have a docker compose file of course you just have to do docker compose up to do it but you can also run it through this one as well you can see they're using postgres they're using some postgres database blah 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 and you can of course add more if you want but this is how you can also set it up it's very simple to set it up just go docker volume create this and then then just run this right and it will it will be up and running now here you can see the ai agent is right now working SERP api has done its work windows buffer memory has done its work so if you look at here SERP api it has given you something development you can see it says sam altman's vision for agi has blah 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 it has given you the output uh you know on this and then it also in your memory you can see it over here input system message formatting instructions blah 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 and now the agent is working on it okay the olama chat model so this is what it's gonna synthesize the response for you you know based on all of your uh, uh the input that comes from SERP api the output of SERP api becomes input for the chat model so it can look at all of those uh information that comes from the internet and it basically synthesize your response right so it's going to take a little bit of time if and this is not at all uh what open ai does for deep research or what perplexity is doing those are really really advanced they also vectorize those informations and then they 
uh, you just different sorts of uh, informations and data repositories and then they generate the output this is more of a workflow where you are building like a web search you know and you can see it over here it says node executed successfully you know and it gives you this it gives you this output says uh, report development in agi in 2025 you know it, it kind of goes here if you go uh, you know it predicted blah 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 AGI will develop using a combination of reinforcement learning, cognitive architectures. Researchers are working on developing more robust and efficient algorithms, uh, challenges, and whatnot, right? And you can keep on asking more questions. Uh, what happened between Zelensky and Trump? And you can ask this question. And you can, if you just minimize this a little bit, you can see SERP API is still not, not being used, and it will be used you know, to find out the information. And once that is done, it will become green. I will recommend you build custom tools with Tavili or Publicity APIs to kind of do do that, uh, do this perform uh, to, to do this task, which is better in, uh, better in discovering the information or to search the information on uh, internet. Uh, that's what it does. But if I go here, I want to show you something. Okay, uh, excuse me, not on this, uh, the O. Now you can see the SERP API is, is working on to kind of uh, search the, this, you can see it here. Okay, oh, this is a previous one, by the way, the nodes are not being executed yet. Oh, well, that is fine. Now, you can also save this. So when you save this up, uh, feel free to save this workflow. You can also download this workflow, you know, to share this with your friends, if you want to share that, uh with your friends and they also anytime also has a paid version guys you know you can go to the paid version if you have to up, upgrade to the premium you know for the enterprise and you can see it over here import from url and whatnot okay you can create a work workflow url as well to import it you can also do that you can also import from file if you go to settings you can find out a bunch of things here you know uh, over there but anyway you can see SOP api has done hit thingy Okay, uh, memory is, is in the memory, and now Olama chat model is kind of to look at all these inputs coming to the model and basically synthesize your response. Okay, now if you click on this, you can find out a lot of tools, guys. If I search for search, you can see it has Elasticsearch, SERP API by Google Search, and it has a lot of things. It has WhatsApp, it has it has LinkedIn, and it has all the Google tools. If you want to do something with Google, you can see Google Chat, Google Docs. It can fetch us information from Google Docs. You can also write, it can create Google Docs for you. It has Google Seeds. You can write in the Google Seeds as well. It can fetch meeting from your Google Calendar and take meeting notes, you know, if possible, if you can integrate with telehealth, right? It has a lot of tools to kind of work with, you know, a lot of big tools like uh, HubSpot. Okay, it has GitHub to to build a PR reviewer bot or something if you want to build it. Now, as an amazing tool, uh, NATN, very similar to how DeFi works, but uh, NATN developer community is really good. So you can try it out if you are somebody who is not a pro coder. Even if you are doing coders, it's I think the there is a wave of working with low code, no code tools. You know, we, we don't know what will happen in future, but uh, yeah. Uh, you can see it says based on the provided tool output, which is coming from SERP API. So let me just go a bit up. You can see it says it appears that there was a heated meeting between Donald Trump and uh, Volodymyr Zelensky in the Oval Office. The exact details of the meetings are not specified in the output, but it is mentioned that the team Trump wants to get rid of Zelensky, where that's a bold statement. And then European leaders doubling down on backing Zelensky. You know, Macron came in the support and UK prime minister came in the support and everything. But whatever you can see it over here it's, it's a good tool uh, we are we are using a low open source model we are not using like any cloud api or gemini or uh, open ai models and able to perform the task maybe you can also build a tool with DuckDuckGo. you know you can build custom tools and use and do DuckDuckGo except SERP api to build it but yeah that's what it is i wanted to create a short video for you so you can just see how you can work with n10 create workflows and build uh, wave researcher or researcher or deep researcher, whatever you name it, using local uh, using local and open source model, and input comes from SOAP API given the query.
if you have any questions thoughts or feedbacks let me know in the comment box if you are struggling with nit and also you can let me know you can reach out to me through my social media channels find those information on channel banner and channel about us if you like the content please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos in your future that's all we'll have more videos on nit but that's all for now thank you so much for watching see you in the next one